This week on Life on Jupiter, we are forced to deal with sailing on a schedule. And before we know it, another year has passed. Happy birthday <laughs> to wow. you. So that's Ziwa in that bay there. So we're not going to go there today. It's going to be rolly as. We wouldn't even be able to land the dinghy because it'd be surf on the beach. So we're going up to the marina just around here. Half an hour, we'll be there. See all the uh, antennas. We used to chase these mobile towers. But they're holding our phones up. Give it to me. <laughs> One bar, two bars, 3G only in a car. Just spent $25 for six gig for this. <laughs> and now, Starlink to the rescue. Yay! Good boy, Dishy. <laughs> yeah, he's a boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, ma'am, uh, I believe it was Foxtrot 48, but I'll have to check the email. What is the phone name? Jupiter 2, Jupiter 2. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a firm F48. Okay, and will somebody be there to guide us in? Sure, somebody will be there to give you a hand with the light. Thank you, ma'am, see you soon. See you soon, back to us. So, this is us. Little blue dot. Uh, this is our marina. It's a bit shallow at each side there. Hang, we've got to stay right in the middle. Pretty. Ah, yeah, they're Capitana Depot. So, uh, yeah, we've had to come into Ziwa to check in with the Capitan. Hopefully, to see how this goes. <laughs> well, we're all checked in, and it was free. There's comments on the Navionics charts from people like this year, maybe it was last year, that this port captain is the only one that charges money. 
Everyone else on the coast is free, but today was free. And they sp oh, the lady there, she spoke English really well, actually. So that was great. This bay is lovely, actually. The surf's not too bad. We could have landed the dinghy here. Although dragging it, it's hard work. Because the outboard's stuck down. Because it's like rusted down. <laughs> but it's not too rolly. It looks pretty good. And people said that all the, the boats going past constantly is huge wakes. I don't see any. It's pretty good. Should we have a walk around town? Hungry? Yeah, all right, that's good. Cool. <laughs> Spicy tomato. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yummy. Right. It's really spicy, I think. How's it? Yeah? Spicy. Yeah. Trouble in this marina. It's got, always got scavengers hanging around the boat wanting food. We've got a flat dog out here. He's always hanging around. This is croc time. Oh, it's big, big. Yeah, it's not small. It's gonna come here like <laughs> So how much the liter, per liter? Yes, 20, nearly 24 peso a liter, so it's dollar twenty a liter, roughly. Yeah. But nearly four dollars a gallon, or may, around four dollars a gallon. It's expensive. It's not cheap, but it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on, get down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Filter won't take it fast enough. Mm. Feels like a pop to daddy. Not driving much. Yeah. So this is not ideal. We're trying to get out of Ixtapa Marina. The tide is low and getting lower. But we don't have time to wait because we've got to catch the port captain before he closes at 2 o'clock or 2.30, I think. The boat's just come through the little canal here and he got, I saw he was kicking up mud. I don't know what he's doing. He's floating around now. It's very narrow. Our props are very dirty. And I can tell because they're not driving very well. But we'll see how we go. I don't know what this guy's doing, just sitting in the way. Yeah, is there someone in there? He's moving. Wow. I think it's okay. Yeah. Really not dry. Go left. Oh no, it's so near.
feel free, huh? Wow, we've only been off the boat two weeks, but it was sort of a high pressure two weeks. And just to be out of the marina, bill paid, full tanks, mm -hmm. finally, back to the ocean. Yeah. Just an amazing sense of freedom on the ocean. Just try and stop me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So what are we going to do now? Well, we're going to go anchor around in Ziwa Bay. We've got a few things we've got to do. We've got to go get shopping. we got to go to the, the car shop. I need to buy some oil, do an oil change. And check out the port captain. Actually, the port captain's first because he closes about 2.30, I think. Rumour has it. So we'll do that first. And then tomorrow morning, zoop, we head northwest up to La Cruz, so Porto Vallarta. Mm. So we got, we can take our time. We got uh, really one overnight passage to El Navidad. Is it El? El Navidad? And we got friends who live there, so they're gonna show us around. And then we gotta wait for the northerly to calm down because it, it's blowing too hard right now. And then it's just an overnight to Porto, Porto Vallarta. Vallarta. Might have a few beers later today, yeah? Yeah, few, and a massage. Few, a few Coronas. Oh, we're going to get massage, yeah. <laughs> so cheap here. I mean, a little bit cheaper than the US. Oh, yeah. Yeah, everything in Mexico is just a little bit cheaper than the US. <laughs> <laughs> but compared to Asia, it's still expensive here. I know. We are the only one that doesn't have a wheel. We have a dinghy wheel but we put it out makes the dinghy slow so they're all there and the dinghy is here maybe 5 p.m. okay okay that's it nice oh, oh. Big so we're gonna go to the port captain hopefully we can check out today we're late we got lots to do we got massages to do we got eating we haven't eaten today I'm so hungry. And shopping. And also the hardware. We're thinking to check out tomorrow morning, but. No, we'll check out now. Yeah. Because. But hopefully they're still open. Yeah. One done. It's really good dealing with them actually. I know, they're very nice. There was, on the comments on the Navionics, there was lots of comments about how bad the port captain was charging money when he shouldn't be charging money. That was before, and that was a guy. And that was this year too. That was earlier this year. But we found them. Lovely. <laughs> yeah. Speak English, the ladies in there are lovely. And it's free. And it's free. Very efficient. Mm -hmm. Next, what are we going to do next I is... Think we're going to eat. And drink beer next. <laughs> you want to eat, I want to drink beer. And then we massage. Yeah. These are the priorities. <laughs> We're back here to the beach. We just done a little bit of shopping. We can't find any proper grocery store because it's, I don't know, Google is lying. <laughs> it's a liar. It says supermarket, but it's not a supermarket. So we might go back tomorrow morning. He's using someone else's dinghy to go get out, didn't he? <laughs> he let it go out. The tide coming. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to get wet now. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, you can know. That's <laughs> No more than normal because he, he let the tide come in and didn't get out dinghy. <laughs> what? Wow, you're heavy, Navi. <laughs> Hello. Thank you.
guys, it's um, James' birthday, and I have a cake for him. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Uh -oh. Happy birthday <laughs> to wow. you. Happy birthday, oh, it's the, it's got my bee. Happy birthday, <laughs> it's my too. It does. Magic candle. Happy birthday oh. to you. Can I? You can blow it. Mm -hmm. You got a hip hip hooray me now. What is hip hip hooray? Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Mm. Is it, three, um, three of them. We don't have that in Philippines. That's an Australian thing. Oh. Come on, give me three, two more. Oi, oi, oi. Ow. <laughs> okay. Hip hip hooray! One more. Hip hip hooray! And then I blow. Yay. Huh? Don't you dare. <laughs> so what's cake? What cake is that? Hey. Oh! Hey! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're going. You're going oh, overboard. Oh no. Stop it! Stop it! It's like a fireworks. Why is that stopping? This is the, one of the magic ones again. I didn't want magic. No. It's dangerous. I want magic. So one year ago, we were in Jamaica. Yeah. Staying at Sandals, weren't we? It's his birthday! Oh. Happy birthday! Yeah, Happy birthday to you. Now we're West Coast Mexico, heading up to the Sea Cortez. In fact, we'll be like almost the entrance of the Sea Cortez in two days, three yeah. days. Stopping at Puerto Vallarta. But we're going to stop. Is it Barro? Barro Navidad? Barro de Navidad? Never. Something yeah. like that. <laughs> we got friends there that live there. So uh, they've been around the world themselves yeah. on their boat, Spill the Wine, it's called. And uh, yeah, they've settled down in Mexico now. Yeah, they have a lovely house, so pretty. Looking forward to seeing that. Yeah. Having some beers with Chris and Nancy. Mm -hmm. Just for one or two days. And then we head on up to Puerto Vallarta. Puerto Vallarta. Uh, but just the north of that is La Cruz Marina. And that's where Jupy will go to sleep again for two weeks while I go back to work and you go off to Houston. Yeah, I still need to get my driving license and yeah, I hope I can pass. So it depends how many lessons you can squeeze in. Yeah, so I booked six lessons uh -huh. and then if they think I'm ready and I can do the exam. Fingers crossed. I need an airport driver. I have friends that they took like four times because they failed four times. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you haven't driven before, it's pretty hard, really. I, th I think it's pretty daunting. Yeah. I've got to go get an American driver's license too, and I'm... Yeah. Oh. What's that? I thought it was like apple or something, it's like, but it's not. I think it's cheesecake. Oh, yeah. It's yummy. Mm. I should have microwave. Our microwave is broken. <laughs> Our washing machine broke. Yeah, everything is broken. And because we're 220 volt, everything here is 110. Still half our stuff is 220 volt, so we, we can't change over to 110. <laughs> it doesn't really help. Mm. Mm -hmm. Happy Thank you, baby. Mm. <laughs> mm. How old are you? Too old. Too old for you. 45. I wish. Um, <laughs> well, you eat this cake and I'm going to make a margarita. Well, time for a birthday drink, yeah? 
you're coming out the front with me. It's a lovely afternoon. I gotta. Beautiful day here, Mexico, wow. I mean, the weather's like this all the time. I would say, I'm guessing, but I would say nine months of the year, the weather's just spectacular here. Wow. Cheers. What's the saying? Uh, distance makes the heart grow fonder, you know? We're probably getting a little bit tired of living aboard Jupiter, you know, and, and living poorly, living, scraping every penny that we could get together. Now, I spend half my month in hotels all around the US, and uh, the other half of the month on Jupiter. And now we got some cash in our pockets. We can actually go out for dinner when we're on Jupiter. We can. We had Mexican last night in Zihuatanejo. Stuffed ourselves, margaritas, tacos, just beautiful. For so long I've preached about avoiding sailing on a schedule. All of my life I've sailed on a schedule because of my career. And that four year break that we had was sailing with no schedule, except Mother Nature's schedule, the weather, was awesome. But we were unable to sustain that financially. So, I'm back to sailing on a schedule. It is what it is. Unfortunately, you cannot avoid the need for cash. A beautiful afternoon. This is very rare to be able to sail this coast. We're really lucky with our weather window. We actually have some wind that we can sail. We're sitting on about 60 degrees apparent, which is about the maximum for the screecher. And uh, getting along at six knots. We've got about seven knots of breeze. Hopefully it lasts all night. We may arrive tomorrow around midnight, unless we slow down, and then we'll be the next day. But yeah, it's only a short trip. so many. That's sardines? Nah. You want fish for lunch? <laughs> I like to watch them swim. I don't want to eat. I don't look at them and think, mmm, yum. I look at them and go, wow, they're beautiful. <laughs> 